day itself was, was obviously quite cold. The video wasn't that great because it was um, raining and it was windy. I always remember being absolutely freezing in the, in the warm up. But then it was thunder. So when the thunder was like at me, I was kind of scared. So I was trying to concentrate the game at the same time. The girl who was marking me, um, Laura, she was tied to me all game, like almost like fouling me every time I got the ball. And I remembered when the ball came into me, she's going to be tied to me. So I suppose it was pure instinct. When the goal went in, I remember my assistant manager, she put her hand over her face and she said, I won't say what she said, but uh, she was quite concerned at that stage. And I just started applauding. And she said, what are you doing? I said, I said sometimes you just got to applaud brilliance. I said, that's just a fantastic goal. I walk off really cocky with my hands down as if I'm, I think I'm unbelievable. But it was just kind of one of them moments where you're like, Jesus, what do I do here? Like, that was a really good goal. As you can see, like in the video, it's not that great. And I should have zoomed in, but I just couldn't because I was kind of holding onto the camera. I think for me growing up I would have been always out on the street playing with the ball and, and juggling the ball. I used to always kick the ball against the curb, take a touch, hit it over my head and shoot and that always used to be something that I'd do on the street and I would have always been a little bit of a showboat. And I remember looking over at the Pima manager at the time, Eileen Gleeson, and she was doing what I could describe as a jig. I knew in my head that it was going to get a good reaction. The first thing I heard about the goal was it was a Saturday night and it was put up online and I showed it to my husband and he's going, no, 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 look what she does there. Nobody, like people can't do that, look what she does there. When the goal went viral itself, it was just like absolute craziness in Ireland. Like everybody was ringing me and everyone was tweeting me. And we literally spent the whole night kind of going, there's a hundred views on it now. There's a thousand views on it now. And it literally, every time you kind of checked in, the views were going up and up and up. It was just crazy how much it took off and, and, and where it went to after that. And then on Twitter, you had like Rio Ferdinand, Piers Morgan, all tweeting about like Steph's amazing goal. And all of a sudden she's trending worldwide and you're going, what's going on? This is Steph, <laughs> like it's crazy. I was lucky enough that 98% of the, the tweets and, and I suppose the mentions I got on Facebook and Twitter and stuff were all really, really positive and really nice, but there were a couple of nasty ones. It's not pleasant when you see trolls, when you see people kind of saying things because a lot, so much of it just stems from jealousy. I always remember I reacted to um, a tweet it's just something bad about my family, let's just say, I don't want to get into it, but I always remember reacting to it and the next day it became a news headline and, and that's kind of where I was like, Jesus, don't do that again because you're just giving them the publicity they want, I suppose. And some of the stuff was really, really nasty and you're kind of going, what kind of person just gets online to say horrible things to another person that they've never met? And actually, strangely enough, so many people said that it was fake, it was, it was made up and people had uh, edited the video or something like that, so it was just a lot of crap like that going around. I was really proud of her, how she handled everything, like, you know, it was, it was really tough on her. I don't think anything could have prepared me for the Puskas thing. That was just, like, it was honestly an overhaul of my social media. It was definitely like a pinch yourself thing. So you see top three, like James Rodriguez, Colombia was playing for Real Madrid at the time, Robin Van Persie playing for United. We're big United fans, Steph's a big United fan. Stephanie Roach, P Mountain, I mean, that's just something you can never explain. A friend of mine worked in, in Sweden at the time and he just texted me to say, I have a newspaper here and Stephanie's on the front of the newspaper. Like I remember my phone going dead nearly about four times a day because I was on it so much. So many people were looking to talk to her. You know, there was people from Colombia, there was South Africa, there was India, there was Brazil. It was just bananas. I remember when we arrived in Zurich, I got whisked away in like a VIP car and, and brought straight from the plane up to like the baggage reclaim and stuff like that. And, and I was like, I can go with my family, like I don't need this, I can walk. It's the football Oscars, so kind of anybody who's anybody in the world of football is there. So when we got there first, there was a few famous faces. And we were in the lift and Philip Lamb got in. I remember we sat down to have lunch and, and Del Piero was sitting across the way from us. So you're kind of going, there's Thierry on recent beside me for his breakfast, still haven't forgiven you for the handball, Thierry. And we all walked over and got a photo with him and stuff. And, he actually said congratulations on the goal, like, and that was just mental, like for me. You're just thinking of them as star players and all, but they were just people, and you know they were just 
almost like mates. We weren't expecting them to be like, maybe stars or you know, you know, having people feeding them grapes or anything like that. It wasn't. It wasn't like that at all. They were just normal people. I just I remember the moments like precisely because she went to the toilet and all the other players had sat down. And as you can imagine, the media all gathered in front of the two main lads there in the front row, they're all taking pictures. So then Steph decides, I'm going to walk in front of everybody to my seat. And there were wires everywhere and every girl would relate to this. If you're walking in heels, you don't want to fall over in, in front of everybody. So that was my main concern was don't fall, get past these as quick as you can. She walked right in front of their gaze as the cameras are there and then it caught obviously their faces and kind of looking at her, you know. And it's funny because in the photo it looks like I'm like whipping my hair back and not paying any attention to them, but, but really I was like, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. So that's pretty much what it was. But the picture came through and we kind of all started laughing. Like we had our little group and we were just laughing and kind of saying, gee, that's a brilliant picture, isn't it? I thought it was just a great photo. And as I said, it was good time and I'm part of the photographers and, and of me looking away and looking like I didn't care who they were <laughs> when I did really. <laughs> If I'm honest, as much as I knew I was against two world-class players who played for Manchester United and Real Madrid, and I kind of always thought I had a chance. I think a lot of people around the world were happy to see that a female had been nominated amongst the men and because it was one of the better goals that was scored that year and it was included in it. So that's what kind of made me think, you know what, I actually have a chance here. I have a chance of winning. And I always remember it when, when they called out his name. Like I just felt just a sinking feeling. Steph was always a really dedicated football player and um, she was always passionate, it was always what she wanted to do but she didn't really have that platform before and the goal just catapulted her and gave her that platform. It was just crazy because as I said I'd never had that attention on me for football at all or, or anything like that. So teams like Houston Dash had heard of her, teams like Sunderland had heard of her, so teams where mightn't have known about her before all of a sudden she was she was a household name people knew who she was people were looking at her people wanted to sign her so it gave her the opportunity to have a career as a professional football player it's something that i was really proud of and it was something that we thought jesus that was a great goal and it was something that was was special and nice to remember but we never thought that it would take off the way it did and, and obviously get the recognition that it did around the world